Hi, and welcome to the second of five videos in the series, Top Five Things You Can Do to Become a Better Programmer. Part one, in case you missed it, was set up a tool database with speeds, feeds, step down, and step overs. That video can be found on our homepage. Today's video is create an operation library for often used procedures. Before I get started, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. And once you've subscribed, hit the notification icon so you won't miss any new videos that we post. Here's the part we left off on from part one. It contains all of the tool paths necessary to machine this from start to finish. And let's say we make elliptical stamping blocks like this and different sizes. The tool paths are always going to be the same. The geometry, however, will be different. So the procedure that I'm going to do to manufacture these is always going to be the same. I'm going to face it. I'm going to use the 2D dynamic mill with a half inch end mill. I'm going to spot face. I'm going to drill. And then I'm going to run a contour tool path around the outside to clean up the block itself. So if I had slightly different geometry from this, I could bring in each of these tool paths individually. I could bring in my tools that are now in a library with the speeds and feeds correct. But I still would then need to bring each of these tool paths individually. What I want to do is treat them as a group or treat them as a procedure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select export. My export toolpath operation opens up. I have an ellipses folder that I've created. And inside of that folder, I am going to create ellipse procedure. All of those tool paths are selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit this blue plus. It's going to tell me that the operations were exported successfully, and I'm going to say OK. And then we're going to close this. So the next time I open up, let's say this part, very similar, right, but slightly different. So I'm going to go into my tool paths. I'm going to go into my machine. I'm going to select the mill. I'm going to do all the setups that I normally would do. I'm going to set up my stock. We'll say all entities. We'll go ahead and add 50 thousandths to that number. Add 50 thousandths to that number. Green check mark. And now instead of going to face in the dynamic mill, I'm going to right click and select import. I'm going to go to my source library. My source library is inside ellipses. There it is, ellipse procedure. There are my tool paths. I'm going to go ahead and select them all. I could select them individually or hold the shift key down and select the first and the last. But if you click on tool path group one, it selects them all. Do I want to calculate the speeds and feeds? Absolutely. Do I want to assign our current tool system construction tool plane? Yes. If I got those selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit check plus. It tells me five operations have been imported successfully. Thank you very much. And I'm going to close that. So now all I need to do is put the appropriate geometry into these tool paths. The tools are already there. The speeds and feeds are already there. And I should be good to go. So if I select tool path number one and I go to calculate that, there you go. It adjusts the tool path based on my stock setup. For the uh, dynamic mill, I need to go into the parameters. I need to select my machining geometry. I need to select my avoidance geometry. Everything else in that tool path is already set. Green check mark. And there we go. Same thing for the drill counter bores. I'm going to go select the geometry. There are my four holes. We'll go ahead and green check mark that. We're going to green check mark that because again, my speeds and feeds, my tool, all of that is the same. 
Now, instead of going into toolpath number four, which uses the same geometry, I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm going to drag this geometry down here and plop it right into there. And then this last toolpath, the chain geometry is going to be around the outside. There we go. Green check mark. Recalculate everything. You can see how much faster that is than selecting each toolpath, putting in the appropriate tool, setting the linking parameters. Um, because I do these blocks all the time, using an operation library is going to save me a huge amount of time. And used in conjunction with some of the new functionality in Mastercam 2022, it's going to save even more time. And that will be in a video that we upload shortly. Thank you for stopping in today. I hope you guys learned something. Um, as usual, contact, reach out if uh, you need any assistance. And look for video number three in the series, Stock Model Creation and Usage, coming soon. Thank you.